Hi, I'm Pat Gunn, and this is the most recent version, at least as of the time that I'm making it, obviously, of, uh, of my Let's Play of Fallout 3. So here I think we're about to head into a Nuka-Cola plant, where we're looking for more uh, bottles of Nuka-Cola Quantum. Things are looking pretty quiet. Oh, but there are some signs of enemies ahead. And some more first aid to loot. Oh, wow, actually I'm pretty full weight-wise. Wonder if it might have made more sense to swing by somewhere to sell some of this extra stuff before I started in. Well, it's not that bad though. A lot of it's reducible. Okay, let's get up, get moving. Aha! General protection fault. I kind of wonder if, if any of these old uh, finance clipboards are, are useful at all. Okay, so they were working on the quantum. There's actually a lot of funniness. Blah, a lot of humor. Not funniness. Um, if you take the time to read all this stuff. Yeah, um, but I'm not going to because I don't know your reading rate. And I guess the point of a let's play, at least theoretically, although I've been doing kind of terrible on it, is to focus on the interesting bits of a game and to possibly let, let you get a feel as to whether you'd like to play it. Ah, oh, something might, that needs a key. I think that's a recipe there. Okay. Oh! some fewer Securitrons. So there's kind of an interesting philosophical question here. Exactly when did it become okay to start... Uh oh. When did it become okay to start uh, to enter the factory this way? And I guess it's a complicated question. So there's this idea of a societal order, which we all live in, in which claims of property are contextualized, in which laws are uh, exist. Gotcha. Nice. One hit if they don't see it coming. And once that order is removed, that is through the fall of civilization or something else like that, then all of our, or at least many of our non-vital, like uh, uh, non-vital in the sense of not about life, not unimportant, but many of our non-vital, uh, Worries disappear. Let's see, waves. Waves is almost it. Caves would fit. Yes. I right, bet. Let's see, what will this do? This will activate that Securitron and have it do its maintenance routine. Well, that's nice. So this guy is not happy. Threat identified. Initializing program. Excalibur. Greetings, fellow employee. Please present your valid work. I. 
This is radioactive slime. And there should be some more of those nuke alert. Uh, yeah. Presumably this is Nuka Cola stuff. Yeah, this is the fluid that's in Nuka Cola. Okay, I don't really want to meet those guys head on. I'm gonna head upstairs. These guys are worth a decent amount of experience, so I'd like to damage them enough to get some credit for it. Hooah! Okay. So we got lot picked 75. Oh, whoops. I need to go get some tea that I started. I'll be right back. Okay, well that goes to show that it is not a bright idea to start tea when you're doing a let's play. Okay, so we have our science up to 75. We have our, let's get our speech up to 75. Our lockpick is up to 75, which lets us handle moderately complex stuff. 50. Okay, a little bit more into repair. Let's see what else we can have. Sniper. Sniper lets us hit heads better, which is nice. Um, is there really nothing more... Hmm. Light step can be pretty useful. I'm not qualified for it, though. This is a pretty sweet skill. That's another one that only becomes available next level. Okay, Sniper is tempting. Robo robotics Expert is also useful. But there's that always tempting intense training. Which, uh, well, I, I'm going to actually do Sniper. This time. Because... That is just too useful to pass up. Whoa, that corpse just dropped through the floor. Wonderful. And also, just because picking all that stuff is difficult, I'm going to always save in the future whenever I gain a level. Okay. Somewhere around here is another Meyer Lurk. Or Nuka Lurk, rather. Looks like it's down there. And it looks like dog meat is gonna go start the battle. But it is coming right at me. Shoot. Okay. Well, let's see what's through here. I don't think this is where I came from. I'm not entirely sure, though. Let's see what the minimap says. Offices and factory floor. Well, I think I came from the factory floor. Probably. So let's go to offices. Oh, okay, some rad roaches. I didn't see those coming down. So this is probably new ground. I'll leave leave fighting the rad roaches to my buddies. Every day is a good day to die. Hmm. Okay. Kill that son of a bitch. Okay. Dog meat. Sweet. 
Yep, a lot of good experience from these guys. Oh, the rad roaches are shoving bodies, bodies around upstairs. Interesting. Didn't know they could do that. More rad roaches. Uninteresting. Still more rad roaches. Did say I did see a passageway to upstairs over there, but I'm going to explore the ground floor a little bit more first. Okay. like this? No. A little bit further to the right. A little bit further? No. Oh. Well, I don't want to waste any weapon status on this, so I'm just going to punch it. Take that. like they're having some fun over there. Oh, wait a minute, that actually is sounding a little bit more like there's more than just... Ah, yeah. There's a nuke, uh, nuke alert. Nuke alert. What is that? Oh, that's going further up. Okay, let's let's explore this floor. More roaches? Yeah, guys, go get them. Sick them. Okay. Uh. Marketing terminal. Interesting. Make me. Wow, that's a very insistent little thing. Indeed. Okay, lying congressional style. Sweet, that improves my speech. Let's see. Laser pistol. Okay. Yep, at some point I'm gonna need to. S swing by a doctor and get some radiation removal, but ah, same old stuff. But yeah, the theory is is that whenever uh, whenever the the expectation, whenever the the norm that you stop respecting property and you, and you'll suffer uh, suffer societal harm, whenever that's damaged due to change circumstance, then it becomes potentially acceptable to loot. And this is a theoretical situation in this game where civilization has fallen. Ideally, this would only happen if civilization yes. did fall, and ideally civilization wouldn't fall, but... I mean, there are cir circumstances where a state loses control of its territory through armed insurgency. So you might have an armed insurgency or something like that. 
Oh. Go on, get out there. Interesting. So it got painted red and got the sticker for Nuka Cola put on it. Nice. Let's see what's going on in here. This is very difficult to unlock door. Great. Is there anything more interesting up here? Mm, I don't see anything. Nope. Ah, oh, shoot. So I'm missing a key to go through that door. Wonder if it might be found somewhere further back here. Right, so the reason I, I would say that it's all right to loot in, in a circumstance like this is that the societal order is... Yeah, the societal order is, has long fallen. The recipients... Uh, or the the players in the in the old societal order are also long gone. Oh, nice. Uh, so it tried to to send some uh, quantum out here and apparently it got jammed. Oh, but it's at least three more quantum. Two, three. Sweet, well, that at least gets me a little bit closer to my goals. Um, actually, my health is not that great, so let's go ahead and Is there anything more here? I don't see it. Okay. Now, was this where we were going? No, I think this is where we ended last time. But there were two sets of stairs, and we this was the second one. Let's see, where was the first one? There was another set of stairs down over here that I don't think we took. Right, here. Since we came from up there, I think. Uh... Hello there, fellow employee! Please give me... The name is verified in my system with no exist... Executive over... That information is in the shipping computer terminal. Pa Oh. oh, nice. I guess I just lucked out there. So there's a shipping computer terminal somewhere around here. I think. Is this it? Yes, this is it. This leads to a safe. Okay, a little bit closer to the right. Well, another sc scoped magnum is always nice to see. Yes, 
I guess that's all there is to do here. I'm glad that I lucked out there. Bummer about that locked door, though. I wonder if I can get out this way. Well, that sucks. Just have to head back all the way out the, the way that I came. Now, I suppose one might come across the theoretical question of what would happen if somebody who would have been the heir of this type of material were to come around and claim it and attempt to to object to the uh, the looting but what i suspect w would actually happen because there isn't an established order legal order me uh, i mean oh that's interesting or what's what that is over there So the idea is basically that laws only really make sense within the context of enforcement. And absent that context, it's not a really particularly well-determined uh, question as to whether they should be followed or not. And what that means is that it comes down to power politics. Uh, I don't really want to do that. I'll get... Okay. Ooh, sweet. Another big book of science. Coming across a lot of these. Which is good because my science is not that amazing. Okay. So I don't see... Let's see what this thing says. Ah, a formula. Well. Except this guy is really very dead. So I'm, he probably didn't find that formula. And I don't think I saw it wandering through here. Well, let's, let's head back down. Wonder, do I need to wander back through the, uh, I guess I do. Back through the sludge. Is there anything important down here? So there's the factory floor exit over that way. There's also... Let's see, this here. Can I hop? Yes, I can. But there's no real reason to be up here. Okay, just have to head back this way. Move along, please. 
So one of the other things related to this is that I think that if society were to fall, it would become obligatory to reestablish at least some level of... Uh, reestablish some type of appropriate legal order as quickly as possible. That is to establish a set of laws and an expectation that they're backed with enough force that that one prevents uh, people from withdrawing their confidence entirely to themselves. Let's see, okay, that requires a key. Don't know where the key might be found. Maybe theoretically up in the offices somewhere, but I didn't see it there. Oh, maybe that's the other side of that that door over there. Interesting. Um, is this an employee? This might be an employee area or something. I suspect I might have missed part of this. The kneecapper. Interesting. So, Fallout 3 also has a number of unique weapons. Oh, just in case. Because I just have this feeling the game would love to put the assassins outside. No, apparently not. Okay. Oh, but there is a, a place marker ahead for me to learn. So, let's go head over there and learn it. Let's save first, just in case. Right, so... Not just any set of rules would do. It would have to be a set of rules that would uh, that people would assent to. Meaning that uh, the rules would have to provide people with adequate security for their interests to the point where they wouldn't be particularly tempted to try and use violence directly on those interests. Let's see what is? Aha. Single Lone Raider. Interesting. Okay, well, my existing assault rifle is already doing pretty decently. Okay, so... Where are my friends? Because I would like to transfer some of this, st this stuff to them. As soon as they actually show up. Guys, you coming? Or maybe five pounds, and I'm at 201 of 300 health. Uh, unfortunately, I don't seem to have any healing items that... that there is a nuclear. I guess it's not actually that amazing. Okay, that works. So buy-in is essential for uh, for these rules. So if you're going to make a lawless area lawful, and I do think that it's more uh, morally obligatory to do so, then you need to uh, to have potential rules that people would be willing to give up the direct use of force um, uh, for. Okay, so there was an interesting place over there, and there's an interesting place this way. Actually, this looks like it might be a slightly harder place to reach. So I'm gonna take care of this now. Hey, dude. Yes, Commander. RL3 comes equipped with everything a good soldier needs, but your RL3 can assist in carrying equipment if needed. Okay, I'd like to give you anything that's in good enough condition that there's no real need or stuff I'm just flat out not gonna use. That should do. So let's find out what's what's this way. So it has to be compelling enough that people are willing to accept it as being reasonably neutral rules that uh, that they would prefer to accept rather than use force directly to meet their needs. Oh, whoa. Nothing I need. 
Whoa! What the hell happened there? Did I... I might have accidentally hit that with... With, uh... With my tri shotgun blast. Okay, not feeling very safe here. So let's back off. Give that a time to explode. Might take a little bit. Okay. Wait, where was... Oh, oh the, right, the, the place that we were looking for was further up the hill. This was just kind of a sideline. But what's this? Have we been here before? I don't know if we have. Oh, that's a metro entrance. Well, it doesn't look much like a metro entrance. Oh, uh, well... Yeah. Let's ignore it. So it is this way, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm growing a little bit suspicious of super explodable things in areas where I'm gonna be walking. And I'd kind of like to blow them up before I get too near them. So I don't get blown up if somebody decides to blow them up to kill me. Not a very trusting thing. But actually, that, that does tie into this. The notion is trust. In order to have buy-in, you need to have people trusting that they'll be getting a fair shot at life. And that they'll be able to survive and do okay by following these abstract rules. Red Racer Factory. I don't remember this. What is in here? Oh, somebody's nearby. Well, I'm going to pop in here and see what's going on in the Red Racer factory. Oh. Zombies. Well, ghouls, anyhow. I'm gonna make my first use of this. My ghoul mask. So what this does, is it prevents ghouls from having an interest in fighting me based on sight. They can still be provoked into fight, uh, or into combat, but by default they're friendly to me. Whoops. I meant to jump over you. Not to talk to you. We're cool, dog meat. Don't worry about it. Let's see. Nope, nothing particularly interesting there. Can't go upstairs. More soda. How did? How do you do? Yeah, they saw me shooting the guy, and that made them much, much more interested in fighting me. Uh oh. Oh, I thought I heard an explosive somewhere. Maybe not. So apparently Red Racers, they are these tricycles. Are you playing games with me, goddammit? Oh, yep. The ghouls seem not directly interested in my dog. And because I am wearing a ghoul mask, they're not interested in me. So I can just happily wander through here. I can turn on my flashlight. That's how we do things in the US Army. 
Hooah! Wow, how do you get up there? Hey, dude. Yep, you were in the way. Sorry, dude. Oh, interesting. I'm not sure if there's a real point to my being up here. Let's see. And that is a glowing one. And they have a radiation-based attack. Okay, well, first we're going to walk by this dude over here. Hey. Well, I guess they don't talk. Okay. Super mutants. So apparently they normally ignore ghouls, or at least according to the lore of the game. I guess it's not that weird that that they waltzed in here right past. Ah, uh oh, weird noises. Keep on looting this area. We'll go and meet those uh, those guys a little bit later. Believing, B E L I E V, Bing. Yeah, this would match. Yep. Cool. Disable chips. Interesting. Oh, apparently that killed the super mutant. Oh, it killed all the super Sir, mutants. Oh, that works for me. I'm not sure why it killed them. But... I don't see any enemies around anymore. Another assault rifle. So apparently the higher level super mutants they uh, they carry assault rifles instead of uh, instead of uh, hunting rifles, which is nice because I think assault rifles are worth more. T-U-R-E... No, I don't think so. Maybe. Cool. Oh, okay. Interesting. So this is somebody who is working to control the mutants by implanting chips into them. And apparently by disabling the chips, I might have instantly killed all the mutants. Well, I can't say I really feel bad for the mutants, given that they seem, at least in Fallout 3, to be largely mindless killing machines. Sir, searching for targets. But it does seem kind of monstrous to be... Well, I can give you the two completely current s 
sniper rifles, or, or I mean assault rifles. By your command. RL3 comes equipped with everything a good soldier needs, but your RL3 can assist in carrying equipment if needed. Yeah, that should do. Let's -a go. Is there anything more up here? Nope. Hey, dude. I'm not in the mood for you, asshole. I'm not in the mood for you, asshole. You have a New York accent there. Weird. Well. I'm not in the mood for you, asshole. N T I okay nope A T T E N T I oh now that'd be two A T T E N T now that'd be two T T E no A T T E N T now that'd be T T E N no A T T E N T I O N that would match oh well yeah I already looked at that one. Okay, let's see. Yeah, the real problem with this would be that you're essentially treating semi-sentient beings as slaves. Even if they're completely nasty sentient beings in this case, and unwilling to talk to human-like entities and, and all that stuff, it's still not a good development to suddenly s start developing masses of slaves. What else is there over here? Oh, not a lot else. Just some darts. Ammo, spikes. Okay, well, I guess I've ruined your experiment, but you're trying to make slaves, and that's not something which we should allow to redevelop in modern society. I'm afraid that I can't allow you to continue your experiments, madam. Oh, missile launcher. That apparently has made that ghoul hosti uh, hostile. As a tamed slave, I cannot allow you to end up resulting in more slaves. Not that my character really has any moral leg to stand on after after how I handled the, uh, the things in Ten Penny Towers, but.
hopefully I can be allowed a somewhat schizophrenic approach to morality in a video game. Sir, okay. I can safely drop down from here. I'm guessing not, but I might be able to hop over here. And then... Oh, wait, is that... Yes. A little bit more Radex. And then I might be able to drop down onto that generator from here. Yep. And there we go. From here I can... Oh, shush. If nothing else, don't mess up the YouTube content recognition stuff for me. Okay, how do I get out of here? I guess it is to the left, probably somewhere ahead. Oh, let's see. Maybe not. Uh, maybe I have to work my way around. Okay, well that was all there was in the red... Red Rover... Red... Whatever it was. I think I spy with my little eye. Something beginning... With Scoped Magnum target. Uh, don't stand in my way. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, we'll switch back to the combat shotgun. And run ahead. See what kind of ammo you have on you, if any. Well, you at least have an assault rifle. Oh, well... For some reason, I thought nu nuclear was worth something. Apparently not. Oh, and there are a whole bunch of foes up ahead. These are probably Talon assassins, I would guess. Oh, or not. Oh, yes. Actually, yes. And one of them has a rocket launcher. Well, let's... We're not going to mess around then. Sir, I am we we kind of need to take care of this. Yeah. One shot. Knockout. Now there's a dog that they have. So we can switch back to a combat shotgun and take it out. Okay. Now, and also, we don't want to leave our ghoul mask on because we don't want it to get damaged in case we do get into more interesting combat. Wow, that is cold. Okay. Okay. That's how we do things in the US Army. Ooh. Oh, so it was just this lone raider with a rocket launcher and a bunch of dogs. Suppose yeah, if I didn't have such good eyesight, and if I were a more ordinary foe of his Probably a pretty decent setup. Okay. I have a cat who is really trying her best to hop on my lap right now. But unfortunately... Yeah, it's... Un 
fortunately for her at least, it's not going to happen. Because it, she tends to cramp my legs. Yes, Commander. Okay. RL3 comes equipped with everything a good soldier needs, but your RL3 can assist in carrying equipment if needed. Okay, I'll take that. Let's put this away. We'll collapse the two assault rifles together. And let's see if there are any other things that we want from this guy. Sweet. So we get guns and bullets, and I think there was another skill book here. Yep, small guns and big guns. Some mentats. Really quite lavish rewards for just this guy. Oh, I wonder, yeah, and he had a motorbike. Oh, sorry dude, but I have punched your clock. I wonder if there's anything up this way that's worth learning. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. See how we're doing on time. Okay, it's oh, getting near the one hour mark. Oh, and there are some people on or under this bridge. Oh, is this the Oh, yeah, this just looks like it is a scavenger. Okay, so if my buddies would like to come up to me and re return my... Oh, you're way over there. Gonna take you a little bit of time to make your way back over here. Well, let's start the trading yeah. now then. Okay, so I don't need a submachine gun. Don't need an assault rifle. Probably done with these. They just don't do enough damage. Unfortunately, you do not have a lot of money to buy stuff. But you do have a decent amount of ammo. Let's see. I guess that's all I can do right now. Another satisfied. Oh yeah, so you can repair my stuff. Let's repair the shady hat. Uh, you're not an amazing repairer. So I guess that's it. <coughs> oh, good to know that you're here. Pity that there's no fast travel marker for you. Because more stores are always good to know about. What is going on down there? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm not still wearing... Yep, this dude... I wonder if I can go in here. Yeah, I guess I can. A lot of the sewers in the game are enterable. I don't think DC sewers are really anything at all like this. Whoa, it is very radioactive down here. Well, or maybe it's just radioactive around there. Okay, two tunnels. I'm gonna put on my ghoul mask. Grenade box. Oh, uh, don't. Yeah, we. Oh, oh, yeah, that's a grenade bouquet. I'd like to have it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh.
Ouch. Okay, that was... That was rather stupid. Okay, and the first aid box. Hmm. So I guess what happened is that these guys wandered down into the sewer, expecting to have a nice defendable area. Maybe some of them became ghoulified or the ghouls came in later, killed them. Oh my, yeah, this is super, super radioactive down here. Yeah, it's already been established that radiation is what creates the ghouls, or at least I think it's been established. So which way were we? I think we might have been exploring north. So let's keep going north. Okay, I'm again irradiated. So let's take that to reduce our radiation level. Wait, is this where we just were? I don't think it, what it is. I think this is somewhere else. Outpost. Not sure what this is an outpost of. Oh, these are intelligent ghouls, but unfortunately they're hostile. Oh, dude had a frag grenade. Oh, and there are super mutants down uh, in here too. There you are. Locked up, maybe. Uh oh. Okay. And I can't open that up. Nice. I guess it's meant to keep him in. Okay, well, oh, a grenade box, I think, was it? Yes, good. Well, this is not the most exciting of areas, given that it doesn't really seem to have a lot to itself, but that's enough for that. And we're gonna swing by and drop off Girder Shade, was it? I think it was Girder Shade, yeah. We're gonna drop off these uh, these Nuka Cola grenades. Okay, is this her? Ronald? No, it's not. I think Ronald probably went and got himself killed. Nothing beats a taste. The taste that'll knock you out. Okay, that's creepy. If you're here with some Quanta. Over twenty bottles. Okay. Well, neat. So I apparently only have less than ten to go. Please, tell me. He had all. That's so silly. Why would a man want to wear a pair of these filthy woman's pants? I bet you and him cooked up that. Oh yeah, she's not particularly bright. Okay. Anyhow, what we're gonna do? is swing by Megaton, see if we can sell this stuff. Yeah, you need something? Evening. Says not to talk to strangers. And where I've is Moira? Well, I've got my eye on you too, dude. Uh, where is she? Wait another hour. Oh, there she is. Huh. Okay. 
don't think I need this missile launcher. Um, yeah, I can sell all the jets, all the medics, all the psycho. All the cigarettes. Oh, that's a good start. Do you have any ammo? Yeah, some more 301 would be nice. Actually, I'd like to probably buy buy out the rest good of your hunting. ammo. And let's see what you can repair. You can repair that. And that. I'm probably going to sell the shotgun. Yes, Commander! Equipped with everything a good okay. soldier needs. That should do. And let's see what can he do any of these need repairs? No. Okay. Hey, don't mind this. Okay, the combat shotgun is too damaged to keep using. Uh Okay, that's an the missile launcher. Don't need that. Kneecapper is a unique weapon, so I'm probably going to put it into my house just as swag. I, I think that works. Good hunting! Okay. So, yeah. Let's Dad says not to talk to strangers. Swing by our house to drop off the stuff. And that'll definitely be a good breaking point. Okay, don't need the kneecapper. I have a lot of frag grenades, so let's drop off at least some of them. This actually might be handy to bring around in case I need to unlock a terminal or something. Uh, I guess, nah. I really don't want to have too many excuses to carry heavy stuff around. 29. Okay, definitely don't need the leather belt. Okay, looking good. Okay, now we're pretty much set after a quick nap to head back out. So, th oh, and let's find where that other uh, leak was, just to finish up that quest. So do we see any other water spraying out everywhere? I don't know if it makes any sound or not. And I'm guessing that's going to be visible from here. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Oh, there it is. Cool. Oh, it's right in front of... I think that that might be it for the water treatment plant. But I think I might have fixed the other two leaks before. Might be the rear end of that store. No, but... Okay, that's the supply store. Uh, that's bathroom. It's the saloon. Could this be the place? No. Okay, no. Maybe it's here. Nope. Could it be... Nope. Hmm. 
Darn it. I don't think that's it. I seem to remember it being fairly high up on the hill, though. Could... No, that is... Okay, I think the mini-map might have labels. So, Armory, Moriarty, Billy Creel, My House. Oh, okay, it's straight ahead. I wonder if I can jump on top of this house here. Yes, I can. Interesting. Not a particularly useful place to be, but it's interesting to know that it's possible to do this. Okay, and is this it? Yes. Okay, and let's talk to Mr. Walter. What do you need? Well, how? But listen, it's how. Okay. Do I have any yeah. scrap metal what on me? It? No, I don't. But in the future now, I can give him scrap metal and it'll fix things up. So, that is good enough for now. I'm Pat Gunn. This has been a part of a series of Let's Play for Fallout 3.